Rogue DHCP attack. Imagine your local cafe's Wi-Fi as a bustling hub, akin to a bustling airport. Usually, the DHCP server in your Wi-Fi router acts as a proficient air traffic controller, allotting IP addresses to devices, ensuring they all reach their destinations. Your router dynamically and automatically assigns IP addresses to each customer on the cafe's network. If a new customer attempts to join, their computer sends out a broadcast requesting an IP address. The router then responds, offering to assign an IP address through its DHCP server to facilitate the customer's connection and communication on the network. In other words, if a new customer tries to connect, their computer broadcasts, hey, I need an IP, at which point the router says, hey, I have a DHCP server running on my hardware. I can assign you an IP so you can connect and communicate here. But then, here comes the rogue DHCP server, our wannabe air traffic controller. Let's call him Sneaky Steve. Sneaky Steve simply connects to your coffee shop's Wi-Fi. After this, he downloads EtherCap, clicks the DHCP server option, makes a few tweaks, then waits for a new customer to come in and try to connect to the network. Now, the DHCP server ran by EtherCap on Steve's computer also tries to assign the IP address. If successful, Steve's computer will beat the coffee shop's router to the assignment and he will then have all of this customer's information flowing through his computer before it reaches your coffee shop's Wi-Fi router. He's fooled your customer's computer into thinking that he is the one who hands out IPs on the network. This has been Rogue DHCP attacks in 90 seconds, but let's elaborate a little further. How do you avoid Sneaky Steve? If you have a network, regular network monitoring and using DHCP snooping features on your switches can help. Think of it as installing security cameras on your network to watch for new IP address assigners. By this, we mean you can watch for other DHCP servers on your network. Lastly, if you're trying to join someone else's network, don't. Just don't. Bring your own hotspot, ensure it uses encryption, and create a really, really strong password. Your own network is the best way to go. Some believe that up to 88% of cafe Wi-Fi networks are not secure. And one survey of over 2,000 US-based respondents reported that one out of every four surveyed experienced personal information compromise at a cafe or restaurant. In the future, we're going to post a video that goes into depth on dynamic host configuration protocol and something called Dora. For now, stay safe, stay vigilant, and always keep your cybersecurity radar on high alert. You just learned about rogue DHCP attacks. If you like this type of content, subscribe to the channel and we'll keep making more.